I'm an atheist, y'all. Britney Spears comes out as a non-believer. Britney Spears, the 90s princess of pop, stated that she no longer believes in God. In an audio recording uploaded on Instagram and then deleted, she stated, I'm an atheist, y'all. Britney's comments came after the airing of a 60-minute Australia interview that featured in, in a 60-minute Australia um, broadcast that featured an interview with her ex-husband, Kevin Federline. In the audio, the singer-songwriter went on a tirade against her family and the trauma she received from how they treated her. Previously, in 2008, Britney, Britney's father, known as Jamie Spears, was granted, granted control over her finances after a period of mental instability. The erratic behaviors followed the pop star's divorce from Kevin Federline in 2007. Last year, the court finally decided to end the conservatorship, which many believed was inherently illegal, corrupt, and the setting of, for an abusive, high-control environment of mental torment over the singer. Britney said, quote, God would not allow that to happen to me if a God existed. She added, I don't believe in God anymore because of the way my children and my family have treated me. There's nothing to believe in anymore. Yeah, before we discuss uh, how, the significance of this, people are already asking about the significance of this already in live chat. Um, you want to read this? Yeah, so Shriyash Singh is saying, how is this news? It's in the same league as conversion hoaxes. I think it's important to talk about, well, for what, a few reasons that I'm going to discuss in a second. Um, but two, actually having someone come out and say that they don't believe in God, but actually use the word atheist itself is very significant. Because yeah. she had previously hinted in basic, like in being non-believer, but many people, this word atheist is actually really, really stigmatized, which is why in the work that Atheist Republic does, we can specifically use the word atheist, atheist, atheist all the time because it is a stigmatized identity. Um, so I think that's prominent. And also having someone that is basically an integral part of pop culture say this publicly is will will make it more relatable to millions and millions of people to be like oh well i know her yeah triash is saying basically normalization exactly you got it yes yeah exactly exactly this is exactly what normalization what happened with the normalization of lgbt right so you know i don't really follow celebrity news, but I don't really judge people who do because it's a type of entertainment, right? Um, it might not be important, but if it entertains you, you have you get value from being entertained, right? So just because I choose different entertainment uh, method, that doesn't mean that I have to look down upon other people's entertainment sources, right? But I think this is beyond, this is not just celebrity news that is entertainment. This is significant, right? She used the word atheist. Um, she didn't say like, I don't believe, like Susanna said, she didn't just say, I don't believe in God. This does wonders for us. Like celebrities now using the A word, the taboo word that people look down upon. Like we see how far we're getting with, like, let me tell you how bad this was. Even, I mean, one of the few things I disagreed with the Richard Dawkins Foundation was they constantly use the word secular, 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 secular. Right, because they wanted to stay away from the A word, like not Richard Dawkins himself, but foundation, right? Um, because they thought it might be not accepted by maybe a good way to uh, spread secularism is to just, just you know. Now they don't do that. Now I think like it's become no, no, so normalized. Like when we had atheist organizations like ten years ago, we didn't call them atheist organization. We called them like when Atheist Republic first started. We were told by so many, "Don't call yourself Atheist Republic." Everybody else was calling themselves humanist something, skeptic something, free secular thinker something, whatever. Secular something, free thinking something. Um, you know, why? Because the word atheist was just so dirty. It was just so taboo. And we're like, well, that's why we should use it. That's why Atheist Republic, when it started like many years ago, we're like, well, we should use the word that is taboo because we want to normalize something that there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with being an atheist. So that's what we should be normalizing. 
I was working with I was working with Canadian secular and humanist organizations last year. Within the past last year, they still don't want to come out and just say atheist. Yeah, yeah, like it's still some for this attitude is still very common. Yeah, it's kind of like when LGBT was like becoming normalized. Some LGBT activists were like. Maybe it's too soon. Maybe we shouldn't go out and be like, we're openly gay. The society, the society is not ready yet. Like people are not ready for this. This is still too dirty, right? And some of them were more radical and good for them because they were like, no, we <laughs> like we can't like the people are like a lot of gay people and uh, a lot of like bi people are like, let's keep this underground. Let's just like if we come out too fast, the backlash would might be so harsh that we have to take a step back and we go we might go backwards, right? But it didn't, that's not how it worked out. And every celebrity, it, not just normal people, because normal people coming out as a gay, that really helps normalize LGBT, right? But when celebrities came out as gay openly, that was like so many extra miles than normal people to normalization of a word, of, a, of being of an identity. And the same thing, with, so no matter what you think of celebrities, um, care about them, not care about them, uh, think highly of, of them, not you know, think, uh, badly on them. The fact is that they have a major reach, and when they use the word atheist in a non-negative way, that does a lot for atheists around the world, right? And and you have to understand, Britney is like a top-tier celebrity, so it's not about the U.S. One hundred percent. She's saying the word atheist, and this is it's not the United States that will notice. It's the world. Britney is a level of celebrity when that. Her words are listened to globally, not American, okay? So if the word atheist is demonized in the U.S., imagine how demonized it is globally. And imagine Mm -hmm. a celebrity that globally is followed is now using it. And using it in such a casual, normal way. Like this will... This blows people's minds, like in certain places. Like imagine somebody in Indonesia who follows Britney Spears, all of a sudden being exposed to like, oh, Britney Spears just casually said I'm an atheist. Like, do you know how major of a shift it is in someone's worldview to just see that being used? Like I, some of you are living in very progressive bubbles and you don't understand how earth shattering that is for some people, right? Yeah, so anyways, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Any comments? So I have some comments. When I speak, I miss a whole bunch of good comments. So um, D is saying, I don't believe her. This is just emotional response. Um, I mean, I, I don't want to read. I don't know what's going on. I, I'll take people's so words. Can I give some background to like respond to D? Because I yeah. know like D is our editor. So she reads these things and she knows the background. <laughs> so in this video or this audio that Brittany put out, she's railing against her family members for basically sympathizing with her father, Jamie Spears, who put her through hell. I I cannot give the full explanation of what happened to her during her conservatorship, but it's horrific. I would describe it as the makings of a severely high control environment like where she was forcibly medicated against her will. She had basically no autonomy, no control over her her own life. Her locus of control was completely stripped away from her. Like you can go watch the documentary if you want to learn more about it. And her father continues to this day to use the judicial system to harass her and terrorize her, trying to get her home address, trying to figure out where she lives, trying to force her to sit her for depositions in exchange for them merely fulfilling their obligations under the law of responding to Britney's lawyer, lawyer's requests. She has been like miked, like her rooms have been bugged by her family. Like there are, there's so much super messed up stuff that happened to her over the 13 years of her conservatorship. It's actually insane. I would be mentally terrorized if I went through what she went through. And so I guess there was some sort of interview where one of her sons was sympathizing with his grandfather, AKA her father and saying, Oh, you know, he just wanted what was best for her, blah, blah, blah. Her money, (laughs) Britney's money from her own conservatorship of her own earnings is being used to terrorize her life to this day. She has to pay for the money that is being used against her, for both of her parents. There's so much about the situation that is perverse, absolutely perverse. 
anyways, so in this audio, she's railing against them and talking about how um, she knows that they like looking at her as sick. She knows that they like looking at her as unstable, as something that there's something wrong with her and that they only sympathize with like the, the grandpa so that they, because they know that they won't be getting her money soon. She has to pay $40,000 a month in alimony to her former husband. They weren't even married that long. And so she was basically just ranting and airing out like the, their their motives in her eyes right and then she ends with basically saying like this i can't believe people would treat me like this i i cannot believe my own family would treat me like this like what kind of god would allow this to happen and like i said if you don't have the full understanding of what happened to her and her conservatorship like it would it would break a person it's crazy. So I think her reaction is quite like normal and healthy. And so basically at the end of this, she says, you know, like because of how my family's treated me, I'm an atheist y'all. And so a lot of atheists in atheist media are saying basically that this answer isn't good enough. They're saying that this reaction is just going to be cannon fodder for christian apologists for example that say oh oh she it is reject, she didn't reject god because of a personal well thought through yes look at the it's evidence. Already has, it was because yeah. of this personal trauma she went to and god is willing and ready to invite her back this kind of thing but i don't think that's entirely fair <laughs> i actually think it's extremely unfair like most people i don't think actually leave religion for a well thought through argument. We like to think that, but the studies on atheists and why they leave religion is that does not, that is not what the evidence shows. So for people to put, the, I don't know, put forward like they're like superior kind of atheists because of how the way that they arrived at their non-belief, I think is really unfair. And I don't like that attitude. Well, I mean, I, I agree with those Christians a little bit. First of all, I'm going to explain. But Silva just uh, gifted five Atheist Republic memberships. Thank you so much, Silva. So oh, Shreyash, wow. Shreyash Jah Jahar, a Secular D uh, Damon, Higgs Boson, and Emron are now members. Thank you so much, um, Silva, for buying people membership. It's amazing. Um, and okay, so I, I must say, yeah, I do agree with those. By the way, you're, you're very right. Christians are... I've already seen because I follow Christian channels and they're already jumping on this and like, look at this, this is ridiculous. This is not a good a good reason to be an atheist, right? Um, and to be fair, you and also you're right, most atheists don't are not atheists for good reasons, right? But it's fine, like people like we could work on that. Um most people are not involved in like intellectual discussions and you, you have to <laughs> reduce your expectations a little bit, right? Um, whatever we, when we want to normalize atheism, we don't want to just normalize atheism that has for good reasons. Okay. Atheists for good that have become atheists for good reasons and for bad reasons should not be mistreated and looked down upon for their atheism. Even the ones that are atheists for not very good reasons. Okay. Our issue is that war is that the world looks down upon atheists okay and that's not okay so even the atheists that are atheists for not very good reasons they are not worse people right um i mean religious people are all religious for bad reasons okay and we def <laughs> uh, so and we defend their rights and we are against uh, op their oppression against them or ostracization or demonization of religious people, even though every single one of them is religious for a bad reason. Okay. Many atheists are atheists for bad reasons and we should be defending them as well. And we are, we should be against uh, the world being, you know, against them. All right. And even, and so D is like pointing out in the live chat that uh, I think more people will think it's just a fad now. She's always spoken about God, so this seems out of left field. I mean, it, the, the point is that whatever happens with this, the word atheist is being used and normalized. And I think that's huge. That's a good thing. That's our point. Um, 
whatever people like people will think badly of atheists because of what atheists do and think well of atheists because of some other atheists do you're not, we're not going to be able to control that at the end of the day the more the word atheist is part of the conversation the more people are going to notice that it's a, it's an okay word to use the more people are going to have um the less people are going to have a allergic reaction to anybody that is an atheist because it's just normal even if they mm -hmm. don't like some of the atheists that they meet I agree with AGA though. By the way, happy birthday, our lovely AGA. Mwah, 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 mwah. Kisses to the birthday girl. Um, AGA is saying, I mean, you don't need a reason to be an atheist. Like, why are we, why do we have a spectrum of, of judgment? I mean, you don't need a reason. Technically, you don't need a reason, but that's why people who have a reason, it's better. Okay. The best. Re best reason for being an atheist is that there's no reason to be a god you know you don't need a reason but there are better so need is not the right word okay you don't need to be right technically you know you don't even need to be an atheist you, you could be religious right but it's better if you're not so you know you could there you don't need to have correct values but it's better if you do you don't need mm -hmm. to have correct belief. So, so I don't know why we're shoving the word need here. I mean, we, I didn't say you need it. I would just say you would, it would be better. Like, for example, if I come to a conclusion that happens to be correct, if I came to that conclusion using a proper methodology, that is better than coming to the right conclusion using a bad methodology. Okay. Do I need a proper methodology? No. Would it be better if I use a proper methodology? Yes. I mean, um, what is this? Like, why are we judging people? We judge everything. How could we not judge? <laughs> like, there are, there are, there are, like, people are like, why are we judging? Like, because some things are better. Like, what am I supposed no, to do? <coughs> no, it's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a personal thing that I don't like about a lot of the atheist community is like this varying levels of superiority complex based on how someone reached the point oh. of being a non-believer okay, come on so you know what i'm talking it. about yes 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 i think it's okay to judge uh values and methodology but tr the people i don't want to put the people on a on a spectrum of hierarchy mm. right okay so i think like we could judge each other's views and beliefs but treat all all of us the same regardless of how wrong you know for example i think muslims views um especially about religion and god is inferior to our views i think that okay sorry like what i do right i think christians views uh, about god is inferior to our views right it is inferior but i don't want to treat the people themselves should be treated the same because being wrong is not a crime being wrong um we're all wrong about something religious people happen to be wrong about god and religion right i'm yeah. sure i'm wrong about many other things not about god and religion but about other things okay so um i mean i don't know what i'm wrong about or if i knew i wouldn't i would stop being wrong about it but i'm, I'm sure i'm wrong about something so i don't i don't um look at religious people or atheists with bad reasons for being an atheist i don't look at them as inferior because i would have to look at myself in, as inferior because of my bad views as well i just judge their views as inferior so mm -hmm. we just have to be able to separate the, the judgment on the beliefs uh, separate that from the judgment on the individuals i think we can yeah exactly separate that. So, yeah yeah AGA is saying, oh, thank you for the birthday wishes. I would like to see everyone give birthday wishes to AGA in the live chat. She is such a valuable member of our community and she does so much for Atheist Republic. So let's give her some recognition and love. Um, and yeah, also, person. Selva Kumar is saying that he gifted these memberships to celebrate his divorce from an abusive marriage. Congratulations, my friend. I'm proud I mean, we of don't you know what, for fighting for yourself. Okay, but we don't know. We're, we're, we're trusting you, maybe, <laughs> that this is an <laughs> accurate description of what happened, okay? But I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I should stop talking. <laughs> I should just stop. I'm going to stop talking. I can't, like, I, I try to always be honest, and I get in trouble. <laughs> okay. Yeah, never let Armin open his mouth, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it was abusive from the other way, or like, how could we just know over the chat? Over the chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, seriously. Okay. Oh my um, gosh, we have giant like happy birthday postings in the live chat. I love this. <laughs> Oh, look, actually, see, I can be skeptical. So, but like, see, because Susanna is like, give, sometimes give me a hard time for my open mouth, like opening my mouth too much. But it's so always like saying, I'm just like, saying yeah, that right after yeah. someone describes their relationship as abusive may not be the most sensitive time to okay. immediately become skeptical. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> immediately afterwards, it's a little <laughs> rude and maybe triggering. <laughs> Legitimate. <laughs> Okay, I just feel weird that I'm clapping for something that I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know the details. I'm like, yay! I'm like, okay, okay. okay. Oh All right. All right. Uh, anyways, um, thank you, Selva. I'm sorry for him. <laughs> Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.